Hi guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to get all cute for this intro or whatever, but I'm like running out of hours in my day and I was like, all right, I guess I just gotta be like my not yet showered done up self. So this is what you get. But today I'm so excited for this video because it's a what I eat in a day. You guys have been wanting this video since my return back to YouTube and I love these videos. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below. I've been posting a ton of content and you guys have been loving it and I love that so much. And also be sure to follow me on my socials. They are all listed down below. I don't want to bore you guys with a long intro, so let's just get right on into what I eat in a day. All right, so for the morning, I had a meeting this morning at 8.30 in the morning. So I wanted to have a smoothie before my meeting because I was going to work out afterwards. So I'm putting in frozen kale, frozen mango, and frozen blueberries. And then I add in a bunch of powders and potions. So this is Sun Warrior Vanilla Protein Powder. It's vegan. Um, this is chia seeds, probably like a tablespoon or so of chia seeds. Adding in turmeric powder for some anti-inflammatory benefits. Maca powder for energy. And I actually love the way maca powder tastes. Um, this is spirulina. I swear by spirulina. I think it's like a godsend lifesaver. This is barley grass powder. And I promise I'm only adding a small amount of powder so like it doesn't taste very grainy. This is liquid chlorophyll and then I'm also adding in some organic almond butter for fats to keep me full a little bit, a little bit longer. So I have my carbs, fats, and proteins all in this smoothie. I'm adding in coconut water and I was at the very tail end of my coconut water as you guys will see. But I love the flavor that coconut water gives me and it's super hydrating so I adore coconut water. All right, I just put my lid on and I bring it over to my blender and I, uh, I, I blend, I do the damn thing. It was getting a little too thick and because I was bringing it on the go, I wanted it to be a little more liquidy. And because I ran out of coconut water, I just added some coconut milk. I throw this into a tumbler cup and look at how like, I mean, it's still thick or whatever, but it's like a clean pour. Like it didn't really leave anything behind. I'm like so proud of this pour. <laughs> so I wanted to include it in the video. I'm so lame. Um, but yeah, this is just my green smoothie. I really like it and it's a great meal to have on the go. Super filling. I know it's really good before my workout and kept me full until I was done. So I really liked it. All right, now for my real breakfast. Um, this is recovery, so as you can see, it's like 11.30 by now. I had that smoothie at like 8 a.m. in the morning, just an FYI. So I'm heating up a pan with some ghee. I love ghee. I think it really helps keep me full longer, so I adore ghee. And this is um, organic Brussels sprouts from Wegmans. I'm adding like, I don't know, maybe half a cup or so of Brussels sprouts. And to cook Brussels sprouts quicker, I cut them in like cubes, so like four cuts. And I just think that it helps make them cook a lot quicker. And I don't know, I just like the taste and I think they get really flavorful. So I'm just cutting up Brussels sprouts and adding it into the pan with ghee and just flipping that around with a fork and sauteing it in the ghee. Popping a lid on that and I'm just warming up my egg pan also with some ghee. Cooking eggs in ghee is literally the most delicious thing ever. I don't use butter. If I ever do, I use, well, I, if I ever do use butter, it's vegan butter or else I'm using ghee. So just to clear up any questions. Um, all right, this is red pepper. I'm just dicing some for my eggs. I'm going to make scrambled eggs with red pepper and ham. So this is Wegmans brown sugar ham and I am just cubing this up and getting it in little sections for the pan and then I'm throwing it in the pan that is nice and heated with the ghee and sauteing all of this together. It makes it so flavorful and so delicious. I'm adding a little bit of vegetable broth into the Brussels sprouts just to keep them nice and warm. I like to really get them like soft and sauteed into one another. So almost like a hash of Brussels sprouts is the way that I like it. Um, all right, and then because I'm getting my fats from ghee and avocado, I'm skipping out on the yolk. So I'm just doing two egg whites right here. Oh, 
I'm just mixing all of that together. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to make scrambled eggs, but yeah, I'm just getting that all together. I'm gonna turn the heat down to low, and I'm gonna add on this dairy-free cheese. It's pepper jack. I love this stuff. I really like it because it melts like how real cheese does. So I just put it on low, I throw a lid on, and I let the cheese melt into the eggs. It's so freaking delicious. I'm just checking on the Brussels sprouts to make sure that they are good. They're all good. They taste wonderful and amazing. So I'm just going to turn the heat down and let them simmer for a little bit while I prepare my fruit. So for my fruit, I'm doing a third a cup of blueberries, a third a cup of raspberries, and a third a cup of blackberries. The only reason I'm measuring is because right now I'm cutting. Um, so yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm getting a good amount of carbs and not overdoing it too much with the fruit because I love carbs. But I do notice a huge correlation with carbs and bloating. So I'm kind of like testing out my, my you know, my, my body. Um... Right here, I'm just cutting a avocado, or I guess in avocado, and this is how I'm getting the rest of my fat for my breakfast. And I'm only gonna have a quarter of the avocado because I used two tablespoons of ghee. I'm adding my eggs onto my plate because the cheese was nice and melted, so I just sort of like chopped it into the eggs and throwing that on the plate. Now I'm gonna add in my Brussels sprouts. These are seriously so good, guys. Like, I'm addicted to these. It's the best way to get vegetables in the morning is to put them with ghee. Mm, they're so freaking good. Now I'm gonna add in the fourth of the avocado. And add in my berries. And it's that simple. This took me about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And super healthy. You have fats, you have veggies, you have um, carbs from fruits and veggies and you have your protein and it tastes so delicious and look how colorful this plate is like it's so amazing so I just sit down and eat this I normally watch like a YouTube video like a David Dobrik vlog or I'll answer some emails but I normally like to chill while I eat breakfast so yeah that's my breakfast and yeah for lunch I am heating up a pan with a little bit of olive oil and And I'm going to take the Jenny O turkey burgers. And I think these are so good. The ingredients are super clean, made with white meat. I really adore these turkey burgers. So you just keep them in the freezer. You keep them frozen. And then you just like defrost them on a frying pan. And I just put in a little bit of olive oil. And I put it on my stove top. And I just set my timer for 10 minutes. And my heat is set to like medium heat. So I have an electric stove top, so I just put it to four. Now the best tip that I have to get your veggies in is to keep it as simple as possible. I found that every time I had fresh veggies, I would never eat them and I would just end up throwing them away. So I buy frozen green beans and I just steam them in the bag and microwave them. It's the easiest thing. So I'm doing frozen green beans and frozen broccoli and then you just keep them in a Tupperware container. It's seriously so easy and such a good way to keep your vegetables fresh and always have them on hand and just eat easy to grab out of the fridge. So you just steam them for five minutes in the microwave and then you just add it into a Tupperware container and it's the easiest thing. I don't know why I wasn't doing this before, but seriously, I swear by it, I adore this. So I just add my green beans into a thing. I go back after 10 minutes and I flip my burger. Oh mm, my God, I'm like starving watching this because uh, it looks so freaking good. And then on the other side, I cook it only for five minutes because my stove top gets so hot. And I also turn the heat down in between the two and the four. All right, so in the meantime, I'm gonna make a salad. I love this salad. It's the best salad ever. You have to try it. So I take a handful of kale and a handful of Caesar romaine lettuce. And then I add in corn and dark red kidney beans. I just like store them in a Tupperware container out of the can. I add in like a spoonful of hummus. Then I take uh, the rest of that avocado, so it's another quarter of an avocado. And then I throw in some craisins and then this blush wine vinaigrette. Best dressing ever. It is kind of high in calories and sugar, but it's so good. And then I just mix this all up with a fork so that that hummus gets evenly distributed. The lettuce gets all throughout. Oh my God, seriously guys, this is the best salad ever. 
you have to try this salad. It's so freaking good. So once that's all good, I just add some green beans that were microwaved onto my plate. My broccoli's done, so I'm just dumping that out. And then I am going to flip the turkey burger one more time to make sure it's all cooked, which it is. I set it down to low heat. And then I take another slice of that dairy-free nut cheese. It's so good. I buy this at Wegmans in like that organic refrigerated section. Put this on and then I just pop a lid onto the pan and I let this cheese melt. If you like let it melt for five minutes, it gets super melted, but I'm so impatient that I don't let that happen. But I'm now just adding some broccoli onto my plate to get my greens in there. I go back and I add in my burger. You guys can see that it melts like a good bit, but I really didn't let it melt for that long. I just wanted it to get like kind of warm. So I just put the cheese and turkey burger on there. So good. And then I just add my salad onto the plate. And there you have it. Turkey burger and green beans and broccoli and the most amazing salad ever. And this was my lunch that held me over until spin. All right, so I just got done spin. I think it's like 8.30 or 9 o'clock at this point, and my last meal was like six hours ago or so. That meal really kept me full. But this is all leftovers, and it's like the best leftovers ever. So all it is is um, ground chicken and sweet potatoes and pinto beans and then my green beans and broccoli from earlier that day. So I just pop it onto a plate and I just throw it into the microwave and this is my favorite dinner it's so easy to make if I'm not microwaving it from start to finish this takes me probably 10 minutes because the chicken ground chicken cooks super quickly and I just throw in the sweet potatoes sweet potatoes take the longest they take like five minutes and then I just add in the pinto beans I stir it all together and I just use cumin and chili powder salt pepper and a little bit of garlic powder and that is it um, it's so freaking good I probably should have added a little bit more protein and stuff but I was pretty low I didn't have many more calories left in the day but I ate this and I was pretty good like I just stocked up on the greens and the veggies and I went to bed full and satisfied and yeah this was my full day of eating that is it I hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other what I eat in a day you guys want to see if you guys want to see another one and I'll talk to you guys all on Sunday with a day in my life vlog that also has a little bit of what I eat in a day tendencies in it so I'll see you guys all on Sunday XO love you all bye